So let's dive on in to the Module 2 Flash Forward. First of all, if we are with a clean install, uh, we'll want to Command K on Mac or Control K on Window and set up the day tag, which will give us the calendar view and include our day tag. We want to take that day tag, we want to extend our existing Tana for Tasks. Um, sorry, I need the right letter hit. Existing Tana for Tasks day tag, and that brings our agenda creation dashboard and our agenda in here automatically. Then we can learn how to create some tasks, task one, task two, task three, task four, uh, this week, task one, copy that so I don't have to keep typing it, this week, task two, this week, task three, this week, task four, and now we can assign them all as tasks with a hashtag task. Um, and then we can start scheduling. These up here, I can schedule this the old-fashioned way. We'll schedule this for tomorrow. Um, and then we'll say um, this one I want to schedule by pressing this button. Um, and it's scheduled for today, but when I press plus one, it'll be scheduled for tomorrow. This one I'll schedule it for today. And then I'll press plus three, which will schedule it for Saturday, three days out. This one I'll press this to schedule it, and then I'll press seven to schedule it for one week out, which is pretty cool. So we now we have a couple scheduled for tomorrow and a couple scheduled a little farther out. Um, we have our assigned bin here for this that we'll not worry about for this, but we do have a horizon. We'll schedule this as this week. So it doesn't have a scheduled date, but it's, th it's the horizon of this week. We can also set horizons from the command menu, set horizon to this week. Uh, we can also schedule it and then unschedule it, which automatically moves it back to uh, this week horizon. With all of those set, let's hop over to the agenda creation dashboard. We've got our events here. Let me start uh, by clicking on tomorrow, since this is what we're wanting to schedule here. If you want to adjust the day length, I didn't do this automatically, just depending on what you wanted. You can make it so your day goes from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. or 8 p.m. Um, 8 a.m. would be nice, wouldn't it? We can schedule events here. There's a new event. They'll automatically arrive on the calendar. They'll ought to be connected with their scheduled on dates. You can add a location if you want. You can add some more information here. We'll extend this event super tag with meetings in a later module. Uh, so you can see how that works as well. We'll put another event here, another event. And now those are both on the calendar. We'll hop over to our rescheduling. We are now on tomorrow's uh, page where we need to get to tomorrow's page. Let's get over there. So our, our events are still going to be there. I didn't need to schedule them from today, but it doesn't matter. I used the right one. Rescheduling. Now these tasks are going to show up. Anything that is today or in the past will show up as available to reschedule. Things in the future aren't there. This is just a quick view if I want to you know, say, ah, I don't have time for that tomorrow. I'll move that to Friday. When I do, it disappears, but it doesn't actually disappear. It's just saying it's been moved to the future and I don't need to worry about it for today. I'll undo that so it arrives back here. And then in our this week tab, we can take these that don't have any dates on them. They're scheduled for this week. And we could say, you know what? I want to actually go ahead and do this one on the 24th. Um, or I'll, actually the 25th, I'll say, since this is the day that we're on. Um, and this one as well. So if I have time for these, I'll throw these into the agenda too. And now I can create my agenda. I have my agenda assembly. I can select the agenda items. I can hit shift tab and then I can delete that query. And now they're sitting in my agenda directly. I can do a little, I like to work with nodes. You could use it as a calendar view if you were so inclined. I prefer the nodes. Well, that's at 10. So I'll schedule something for eight. Uh, and then it looks like at 11, I have another nice gap between one. And then I have a, a you know, I can maybe get restarted at three. I use a military time. That's absolutely not, you know, I say military time, 24 hour time. Um, that's a term we use in, in the US for it, 24 hour time. Uh, and you can do whatever you want. Yeah, you don't have to even do it exactly this way, uh, but it's the way I block them out. And then depending on their, you know, uh, reasons why I might put task one place or another, um, I would drag them up, put them in. I included for you a query that allows you to look at project reviews and uh, double check recurring tasks for errors. Those don't really come into play until those are we, we look at those. Uh, but now I have just gone from not having anything at all to having an agenda created and tasks scheduled uh, and rescheduled um, and events set up. And all of that happened in five minutes.